Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you uh, how to sort arrays, uh, both arrays of numbers and arrays of text. And uh, we know what an array is. If you don't know what an array is, watch the video called One Dimensional Static Array uh, because we're going to be working with one dimensional static arrays. So I set up an array here. Uh, here it is, it's called numbers and it is of size 5 so it can hold 5 numbers and I put numbers in the array and now I want to sort it I want to sort it from low to high okay so setting up the array isn't hard we declare it dim numbers put the size in parentheses remember that the size is going to be 1 minus what you think is what you 1 minus what you put in there because I'm using base 0 uh, indexes and if you don't know what that is why like I said watch that first video uh, and I have a type of array so this is an integer array okay so now I put my five numbers in the array and let me just run this up to the breakpoint and we'll look in the memory and I have my five elements of the array and here they are okay now I'm gonna sort it so let me just talk about the the concept of a sorting or actually the method that we're going to use to sort uh, we're going to use two loops. Uh, the first loop is going to run down, is going to loop through all the elements of the array. It's going to loop through the, it's going to loop uh, five times. And it's going to uh, go through these indexes, okay? And you can see that because it's going from four main loop people to zero to upper bound of numbers. So this is going to loop from zero to four. It's going to loop five times. And at each element, <clears throat> it's going to perform another loop, okay? So the, the next loop is going to um, <clears throat> check that the current element of the outer loop, so we're going to hold on to that in this uh, case here, numbers main loop. We're going to check and see if that is greater than any other numbers in the array okay um, and how we're gonna do that is with by this other loop this other loop compare loop it's gonna go from main loop which is 0 to the upper bound of numbers which is 4 so this is also gonna loop five times okay and let's let's step into it and see what what happens um, and each time that we find a number that is greater than a number uh, below it, we're going to switch the variables. But it's easy to see when we walk through it. Okay, so I just stepped into the first for loop, and main loop is zero. We're on the first element here, number zero. So we're dealing with uh, 19 here. And now we're in the next for loop, and we're going to check uh, numbers main loop which is 19 and numbers compare loop so compare loop is 0 here these are indexes inside here okay remember so we're dealing with numbers 0 on both of these because both of these are 0 now main loop is 0 and compare loop is 0 because I set main loop to compare loop okay so initially I have uh, if 19 is greater than 19 well that's that's not going to uh, cause anything to happen because 19 is not greater than 19. So it's not going to run into this switching of variables. So I'm just going to go keep stepping through and now I'm going to go to the next index in the second loop right here. So now compare loop is going to be 1 because it goes from 0 to 1. Okay so what we did here is we're holding on to this value 19 right here in main loop. It doesn't change. And then we're going to compare it against um, this value, which is now 3. We're saying, is 19 greater than 3? And yes, it is. So what we're going to do now is put that value, we're going to switch these two uh, variables. We're going to put the value of 19 into a temporary variable. Here, temp is an integer. And so I'm going to hold that in memory in this variable called temp. I'm going to hold 19. And now I'm going to overwrite this position here with the number 3. So what I'm doing here is putting the number 3, which is in this uh, element of the array, and I'm putting it into this element of the array, which is 0. So this is like the first element, number 0, 
um, that's now going to equal the second element, numbers 1. And you can see that because numbers 1 here is 3. And also because compare loop is 1, okay? And, and main loop is 0. So now, I, if when I execute this, what you're going to see happen is these are both going to be 3. So I'm going to execute that. And sure enough, now we have an array where both the first element and the second element are 3. Well, what happened to 19? Well, we held on to it in that temp variable. So now we're going to assign uh, the position of the second element in the array, which is here, to the temp variable. So now you're going to see 3 and 19 instead of 3 and 3. So I execute that line, and sure enough, you have uh, number 0 is 3 and numbers 1 is 19. So we just switched these two positions. Okay. So now we're going to keep stepping through and checking for more. So now compare loop is 2, and it's saying, is, is 19 greater than 10? That's what this says now. Because main loop is, uh, let's see, oh, actually, main loop is 0 still. So it, it's saying, is 3 greater than compare loop, which is 2? It's saying, is 3 greater than 10? And it's not. So we're going to skip over that. And now we're going to say compare loop is now three. So we're going to say is twenty. We're going to say is three greater than uh, twenty-five, and it's not. So we're going to skip over. And now compare loop is four. So we're going to say is seven is three because here's three is three greater than seventy-seven, and it's not. So we're going to loop over. Okay. So now we're going to go to the next compare loop, and we and we come to a number greater than 4 so we're gonna fall out of that and now we're gonna go up in, back into the original loop main loop and increment that so now main loop is gonna be equal to 1 okay so now we're dealing we're not dealing with this first position anymore we're now dealing with the second position we're dealing with 19 we're gonna compare 19 against all the other elements in the array so we're going to, and that's done right here. Is 19 greater than 10? Is 19 greater than 25? Is 19 greater than 77? So after this round of the second loop, 19 is going to move down one. So we could see that. Um, let's see. The first one we're comparing is uh, after we set assign that compare loop is to main loop, we're comparing uh, main loop and compare loop have the same value. So we're comparing. Uh, numbers 1 to numbers 1. So this is the same thing. Is 19 greater than 19? No, so we're not going to run into it. And now we're going to increment. We're going to, sorry for strolling back and forth all the time, but I'm, I want to show you. We're, we're comparing is 19 greater than 10? Yes, it is. So now we're going to switch. Okay? So now we switch. And now we're going to, so you can see that it switched because here 19 moved down. It went to 2. And now we're going to compare is is 10 greater than uh, after we increment this we're gonna do is 10 greater than 25 so do you see how this works it, it basically says is is it start the first loop is doing okay hold on to number zero and compare it against every other element and if it's greater than then switch it okay and then compare number two and if that's greater than any other element then switch it so you you see that here you do five loops of the outer loop here you do four loops of the outer loop three loops two loops you you, you only need to have that outer loop um, you don't need to loop five times every time because you know that um, after the first time this number on top is gonna be the lowest number right okay so that's all you're doing is uh, is having two loops and you're comparing every element to every other element. And now if, if I run this uh, all the way through, we'll see that the array is now sorted from low to high, from 3, 10, 19, 25, and 77. If you want to sort it from, <clears throat> instead of low to high, from high to low, then just change this equal sign from less, uh, from greater than to less. And if I run it now, 
if I look in memory after I just ran it, I have it sorted from high to low, 77, 25, 19, and 10, and 3. So it's real easy to switch from high to low to low to high. Okay, so uh, what, what about text? What if you want to sort text? Well, you can use the same exact uh, algorithm. And now, instead of having an array of numbers, I have an array of text. So I declared the array like this. The, the dim, name of the array, size of the array is in parentheses, and then string, as string. So now I have a, an array of strings. And I put names in here. And the, the algorithm is exactly the same. You're going to compare um, every element of the array to every other element of the array. Okay? And, and if they're bigger than or less than, you're going to switch them using this temp variable here. Okay? So, one thing, like I said, it's exactly the same, except for when you use strings, you have to have these ucase. This is a function that puts uh, the, value of the, vari the value of the variable, right? Because these are um, elements that have value. You're going to, you want to make that all uppercase. So, instead of uh, Bob being in lowercase, it converts it to uppercase, and that's due to the comparison using this greater than or equal to. In it, in VBA, um, if you compare a a capital an uppercase letter with a lowercase letter, uh, they're not the same. It's, they have different uh, values in VBA, so you need to put them all in uppercase and then do your comparison. So the only real difference is remember when you use strings to put this uppercase around okay so let me show you um, how this one uh, sorts and I'm just gonna put a breakpoint here so now we have our our names uh, Bob and then I just put uh, bib uh, Bob here um, and I want to sort this from let's say low to high so I'm going to step into it and just run it and here I have my name sorted from low to high. Oh, actually, I made a mistake. Uh, I declared this as 5, but it actually should be 4. I even forgot about the base 0, so my fault. But that's a good reminder. Base 0 is important. Okay, so I'm going to run it again, and we're going to look at names and memory. And here we have alphabetically uh, organized our, we've sorted our array from low, B, to high s if we want to sort that from high to low from like Sally from Z to a then you just reverse that sign there and now if you run it again you look inside names and you have Sally then Joe then Fred then Bob then Bob so that's how you would sort um, arrays in uh, VBA we used a one-dimensional array but um, you could use two-dimensional arrays I mean th uh, these comparisons can be done uh, many different ways, but this is the general, the general algorithm for it is to use uh, two loops and to you hang on to a temp use a temporary variable that will hold on to memory um, to a value with something you want to uh, use later. So you you swap the values here and then you put that temp value in the other index. So. That's how you would sort erase both numbers and text. If you have questions, uh, go to ExcelVBASQL.com and let me know, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.